Hey everyone, Christian here again, and I'm going to do a review on a not very often seen palm in cultivation. That is not in cultivation, but in just in habitat and growing all around. This actually is one of the most common palms in the world. This is Brassus. This is the species Brassus Ethiopium. Now Brassus flabellifer, which is native to north to <clears throat> from basically middle Africa all the way through India into South Asia, it might might be the most common palm in the world uh, but in cultivation is often rare because it's a heavy seed it requires a male and female uh, plant to, to create seed and so because they're slower growing they don't make it into the Americas very much and there's very few uh, mated, mated pairs in Florida there's probably only three or four and uh, it, these to maturity uh, can take 30 years so growing them um, you know, can be a little bit difficult to obtain seed and then grow them from a seed. This plant here, although it hasn't had optimal growing conditions, has probably been here for about 15 years. It should be about two to three times the size, but you can see, if you go up here, that silver on the leaf is beautiful right there. You can kind of get that glaucous look versus the green on the uh, the rest of the leaf. And that's really what uh, is great about this, this palm, is it has a huge, it has a massive trunk, um, nice broad leaves, and if you see right here, it doesn't quite have spines. It just kind of has a razor sharp. It has a it has a spine about it, but there's no. It's kind of a spine spine. Then ra this is this is this can cut your fing my finger very easily. You could not you could not just run your hand down it. Um, you can touch it, but it's kind of like a dull razor. Uh, in Africa, they often use the petiole or the branch right here of this as a uh, a weapon in combat. Uh, native. Uh, tribes will or they have I don't know if that's you know still in use, but because it's so So sharp you can just they wrap the the base in animal skins to keep their hands free of uh, getting cut and will actually uh, Use it as like a machete almost because it'll it'll cut through almost anything. So uh, Unfortunately this this could this I think because of the, the, na the nature of where it was planted in this garden It did not grow very fast, but it has recently started taking off and that leaf was really kind of stands out now this this palm um, has personally withstood about 28, 29 degrees, and it is a uh, it's a real, it's a it's a palm that is hardy to about 9B. It grows in many areas of Central Florida that aren't too cold, and throughout South Florida, uh, you know there aren't many mature specimens in Florida, but there are, there are some as far north as uh, Vero Beach area, Cocoa Beach. So <clears throat> you know it, it isn't a tropical plant by any means but it does uh it doesn't like having frost when it's when it's small because the frost will actually stay low to the ground and um when, i'm sorry when the leaves are low to the ground the frost comes down and sits on on the ground level will actually will actually burn the leaflets but when it's up higher like this it, it tends to get past that so definitely cover it when it's young if you're growing in the ground and you might uh experience a frost now the seeds of this plant when you get them they're going to be about the size of of a coconut. Um, the actual fruit is the size of a coconut, but there are two to three seeds inside that can be about, I would say that they're about half the size of a coconut without the husk. And you want to sit, you, the best way to germinate these, and I could do a whole video on how to germinate them, but lay them on their flat side in a uh, bigger pot of soil and uh, wait until a little uh, root pops out. It's gonna be, the root's gonna be at the size of your index finger. And uh, take it out of this take it out of that pot and put it in a very deep pot uh, with a, maybe a seven gallon a deep seven gallon pot or they make these special deep pots for certain types of plants and um, you'll get your first leaf but it, you'll have one root go down you know 18 24 inches before you get your first leaf it's one of the most remote germinating palms on the planet but it's well worth it it's a very rewarding plant as far as uh, the look on it it has kind of has this uh, green on black and there's other species uh, Flabellifer will have a more uh, yellowish look um, this I to be honest because of the where this is growing this kind of has a look of both species and I couldn't tell you exactly whether it's Flabellifer or Ethiopium but uh, now that I mentioned now that I think about it this looks more like Flabellifer Ethiopian Ethiopium is has a little more yellow into it but it could be because of where it's growing in the shade and you can see down here, it kind of has a little spiral on the, the trunk. It kind of keeps that for quite some time. So anyway, that's going to about do it for uh, for Barassus uh, flabellifer. So um, hope you enjoyed the video and was uh, 
you, and, you, and if you enjoy these videos in general, hope you subscribe and watch the channel. There'll be many more to come, and uh, hope you have a good day.